So let me ask you, when Jesus was in India during those times, in your movie, you it, it was insinuated that he stepped on a couple of Hindu priests' toes as well as a quote-unquote troublemaker because he was starting to cha challenge the ideas of the caste system and the, yes. this, the injustice within the Hindu traditions as well. Yes, it true? was suggested from our research that he may have needed to flee. Uh, where he was in India. True, truly tr troublemaker, this Jesus kid. <laughs> yes, yes. And then uh, the story is that he went to the birthplace of the Buddha. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you know, maybe. Maybe, maybe not, sure. It was really interesting about the missing scroll. Mm -hmm. um, you know, way up in Ladakh, which is, I don't know, like 14,000 feet elevation up in the Himalayas. Um, there is um, a Buddhist uh, monastery, Hemis Monastery. And I think going back almost 100 years now, we can say it's been reported by many travelers that they had a an ancient document that spoke of Jesus' travels to India. Hmm. And there were about four or five well-known explorers who saw this when they were at Hemis through the decades. And it was uh, translated. You can find the, the document and it, it begins after uh, the crucifixion. Do I have that right? Well, I know it's sort of a flashback from uh, after the crucifixion. Deals with his travels as uh, as a young man in India, um, and the the whole story is mapped out there about taking the trade routes mm -hmm. and who he met with and how Christianity evolved from his travels and his exposure to Hinduism and Buddhism. We, of course, really wanted to see that manuscript of course. confirm that it really existed um one of the people see this is where i don't have all the names to the tip of my uh, that's fine that's fine there, there was the uh uh the, the russian explorer oh, nicholas. nicholas yeah something or other yeah i forgot his last name but yes uh i think he was the first he was up there and he he, he broke a leg while he was there and it had to spend weeks recovering there. He was shown the document. And then there was the great Russian painter. Again, uh, the name begins with Nicholas. And I mm -hmm. apologize to your listeners. It's fine. It's fine. Right at the tip of my tongue. Um, but uh, he claimed to have seen the document also and confirmed that it was there. And, and a couple of other needed, noted people did as well. Well, when we went there, um, we were shown the area where the document would be if it was there. Without them confirming it was there, I said, these are our ancient uh, documents, and they're locked here. They're locked. You can't uh, see any of them. And I looked at the, uh, the cupboards, the shelves, and, and you know the doors with just glass and... There were no locks on those doors. What there was, was was a strip of yarn just tied closed. Anybody could have taken a scissors in it. And, no, 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 no. Uh, because the uh, head of the monastery had left years ago with instructions that nobody was to open. Uh, and, and there you go. And, and they said, until he returns. Well, believe me, with uh, the problems in Tibet, and the Chinese communists, they didn't even know if he was still alive. You know, was he ever going to return? Well, we had an interview with one of the monks there who said, listen, he's he's heard the story, you know, many times through the years. And he said one of the problems were uh, if we were to confirm this, this ancient document, um, Christianity would be very upset. You know, the Pope would not like that. 
he made it clear that there was pressure on them. You know, at some point, something was exerted on them that they were not to reveal uh, this document anymore. Uh, Politics. Politics, if you will. <laughs> but in his wording, it was very clear that, uh, you know, they had the document. But he, he, he danced around it, how he was talking about it. To watch the full video, click on the link below. And don't forget to subscribe.